All right, so what I have here is a 2005 Subaru Impreza WRX. Um, this is the keyless entry buzzer, I guess, wiring connector or pigtail. Um, this is the photo of the one I took off. This, unfortunately, breaks on a, I guess, quite a few WRXs. Or I, I, this could be a general Subaru thing, um, like a common problem, I guess. I found this to be common throughout, I guess, the majority of the budget I was trying to pull off of, like, parts cars. Um, so, I mean, I went to salvage yards trying to pull this buzzer off because I couldn't find it online until I did some more research. But all the buzzers I pulled off had the two prongs inside of the buzzer broken off, or corroded off, I should say. So this video is going to be showing how I fixed the issue and rebuilt the pigtail or the, you know, the plug connector and i will put a link to the parts i bought below and the o'reilly's part um that I was able to use to rebuild it and the wiring and all that stuff so here it is all right so this part of the video i'm showing where i pulled that little rubber grommet from my fingers there off i reused that um and then i got a wire and i got I'm going to show the part number here in a second, but it's a little uh, spade is what they call it. And that's the part that connects to the prongs inside of the connector. Um, you need to put the rubber on it first and then crimp the rubber, I'm sorry, crimp the coating of the wire off and then crimp the spade to it. All right, here's the part number right here, but I'll still link it in the description below. And here's the plug you're going to be pushing that wire into. Um, and here's after I pushed it in. Uh, don't worry about the color coding yet, or if you want to, you can. Uh, but I have it all in the beginning of the video, so you can go back to that. But you can just worry about that when starting it in. So just put the two uh, spades in there, I guess, or spade with the wire connected in it. And there is a tool I'll link in the description as well that's going to help you push it in there if you want to buy that, or just you know push it in with a flathead. Just be really careful. Um, that's all there is to it. It's, it's pretty simple, just rebuilding that little connector. Uh, you do have to pull the two wires out beforehand. I didn't show that part because I you know, couldn't get that on video. Um, but yeah, um, that's after I rebuilt it. And this is going to show me soldering it. Couldn't get a very good angle of it. But I definitely recommend soldering versus just like the twisty little, whatever it's called, the two wires and twist it or... Just do it the right way, solder, because it's at the front of the vehicle, it's going to get wet. So solder and heat shrink, because um, you do not want that to corrode and go bad again. So I'll fast forward through this. I did unbolt it from here earlier, the old one, so we're gonna bolt it back in here. So. 